Welcome to Living on the Ocean. We are out of quarantine. We are allowed to take down our yellow Q flag. We have been to customs and we are allowed to bring twilight to the shore after 10 days quarantine. Yes, we can walk again on land after an Atlantic crossing from west to east from St. Martin to the Azores. We on land again. We made it. We back in Europe. And we finally can explore Horta Azores, where 80 other boats with us were laying in quarantine, and some of them for even 20 days. Horta is absolutely amazing. The paintings everywhere, it must be thousands, made over the last decades and decades by yachts that came here. As the harbour said, you won't be blessed if you leave Horta without making a painting. People took it serious. It's become a complete work of art. All the boats, and sometimes you see boats you recognize. And I want to find back that little painting I made after my first solo crossing with Hunkadori in 2016. I know roughly where it is, but it is four years ago. And maybe other people painted over it. But no, the respect for each other's paintings is so great that even that little painting, we find it back. It's still here from 2016. I think it needs another one underneath here now. Twilight, we will be back here tomorrow. We will make you nice again. We add twilight to this. And this, this is some new kind of rope game in Horta Azores with all the yards. You can get from one boat to the other. If you fall overboard, it doesn't matter. You not end up in the water anymore. Walking back to the center, we pass this fantastic gate, the entrance of an old fort in Horta. Horta has fantastic old buildings. We are on our way to Peter Cafe Sport. The people that served all those boats in an amazing way are food and are shopping in the days that we were in quarantine. And here we are, Peter Cafe Sport with its flags and its memories of all the yachts that come by here. It exists over a hundred years now and it's absolutely worth a visit. And there is the shell that I painted for Peter Cafe Sport. I said thank you for all the work they done for us and all the other yachties while we were in quarantine in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean in Hot Azores. They brought us food, they brought anything we needed with their boat from early in the morning till late in the night. And now in their cafe, at their menu, I really had to laugh. This was done in such a creative way that I filmed it for all of you to read. How to celebrate 101 years of cafe sport. First drink a gin de mar, then drink another. Third, did you like it? Buy a bottle and take it home. Or four, did you really like it? Take it to your friends as well. Never a traveler found a better friend. Or five, are you addicted? Don't worry, we will send it to your home. And six, what about a classic gin? Have you tried it yet? And then there is seven for those that are not tonic lovers. But I'm not gonna read all of this to you. You are smart enough to just stop this video, pause it, and just read it for yourself. The gin user manual, quite nice as well. We did not make it to the full gin user manual, but it was great to be in Peter Cafe Sport. And it was great to see the outside with a fantastic view over the water, even when it was empty, because a lot of boats still need to do their COVID-19 test to come ashore. Back at the boat, we saw that the fish were cleaning the dirt off from the time that we were laying in quarantine. And so, although it looks chaotic, it's another food delivery. Oh my goodness, it's like Christmas when this happens. So, for a little while today, it's unpacking, creating a bit of chaos, putting all the supplies away, there's all the eggs. And one other amazing thing we managed today, because we are now up on the quay, is a shower. And there you go, if there's the result of the shower, we have a very soft, washed, blonde hair. And I feel fantastic just for 
the first time since the 16th or 17th of March of actually having hot running water. It was worth every penny of the one euro fifty we paid to use the showers and I think I probably used more than one euro fifty's worth of water. Sorry about that. Wow. Yeah, amazing. Thank you. While we were in quarantine, the charger of our laptop gave up. How could we get another one? But there were people on another boat that gave us a charger. The yellow boat from Peter Cafe Sport came and brought it to our boat so we could continue our videos, we could continue our work on the laptop. So another thank you Shell from their boat and their little logo. The next morning is painting day. Making another painting of twilight after this amazing trip in world lockdown time. A little trimaran that I extended from 31 feet, 32 feet to 41. Painted underneath Honkadori. Actually, Honkadori was a catamaran that I turned into a trimaran, with which I made my first solo trip in 2016, sailing from Portimao, Portugal to, to Antigua, not to St. Martin, to Antigua, and then back to Horta. And now Twilight, together with Cheryl, from Portugal to St. Martin to Horta. The painting from Hankadori is restored, a new painting from Twilight is made, and they're very nice looking together. And who knows, there may be another one to come. And Cheryl? She made sure she claimed her bit of blessing of Horta by a painting of a button. Later that day we walk up the little hill on the other side of the bay and we overlook all the boats that are still on anchor. There are not as many boats anymore as there was before and actually the corner here on the right hand side where we were, it's already gone completely empty. There are very old little houses on this hill and on the other side of the hill is a beautiful bay. A bay actually with a sandy beach. Something I cannot remember from 2016 that there was actually a sandy beach on Horta. I thought of only rocks, but so wrong I was, here it is. A beautiful little piece in paradise. The buildings are amazing, as this one with all its windows and arches and the little streets. The alleys with the steps up and down the hill of Horta. We enjoy walking around there and looking at it. There's green everywhere. And as the yacht is painted on the walls, so did the owner of this apartment complex or whatever it is, we actually don't know, but they painted every single window. And then we are back near the harbour, which is clearly illustrated by the paintings of the Yachties. And then we find Ruas Lounge Bar, where we meet people that I met in 2016 that were so friendly and nice to me. It's so nice to see them again, but we have to also get back to our boat before this dark skies and rain are gonna hit us. because. Obvious, it rains in the Azores sometimes, it cannot be such a beautiful green spot in the middle of the Atlantic without rain. But rain comes and rain goes, and the next day, beautiful weather. But we have to do something, we need, of actually, we think we need a proof of our coronavirus test, that we are negative, because how else can we prove when we come to mainland Portugal that we've been tested? To get our papers done, we need to find a hospital, and to get to the hospital, we have to climb the other hill. And on that hill, there is a beautiful park with a beautiful view. We enjoy our walk, look at more buildings, and enjoy the sunshine of today. In the hospital, we're being helped again above and beyond 
very nicely. And in the harbour, they go as far as calling the maritime police for us and making sure that they know that we're gonna come from Horta and that we have already been tested. But we leave Horta not being sure of what's gonna happen because things happen so fast. And even when we're in Portugal, there's another thousand miles to sail. We don't know if we need to go on quarantine. And actually, we're a little bit anxious leaving this beautiful green island in the middle of the Atlantic. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Living on the Ocean and I hope you subscribe to our channel, comment, ask questions. We would really like to communicate with you and share our experience. I hope to see you in the next episode.